the good shepherd has risen, who laid down his life for his sheep and willingly died for his flock. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did. For through the healing paschal remedies, you have conformed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called synagogue of freedmen, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia, came forward and debated with Stephen, but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they instigated some men to say, We have heard him speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders and the scribes, accosted him, seized him, and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses who testified, This man never stops saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him claim that this Jesus, the Nazarene, will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin looked intently at him and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Though princes meet and talk against me, your servant meditates on your statutes. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I declared my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Remove from me the way of falsehood, and favor me with your law. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. After Jesus had fed 5,000 men and his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had been only one boat there and that Jesus had not gone along with his disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias, near the place where they had eaten the bread 
when the Lord gave thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are looking for me because, not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we find ourselves in the sixth chapter of uh, John's Gospel. Uh, the bread of life discourse is what it's called. And so what we have here is uh, sort of a classic thing that happens in the Gospel of John, where Jesus is trying to move people again very quickly away from the physical to the spiritual. And so he asks them questions, or, or they ask questions of him. He doesn't really respond directly to their questions but keeps moving them in a different direction, keeps moving them away from that. The reason Jesus fled them at the beginning here is because they thought they, were just, he, they would just make him king and that he would just multiply food for them whenever they needed it and everything would be fine. Everything would be great. They would be stuck in the physical. He wanted to use this thing as a sign of his power as God and that they should put their trust in him, not because he can provide for them physically, but because he can provide for their spiritual needs. He will suffer and die for them and be raised up. And that's what they should be focusing on. That's the thing that, that should be the focus of what they are doing. So they ask at the end, what do we need to do to the works of God? What do we need to do in this case? How do we do this? And Jesus tells them to believe in him. To believe in him. And of course, that word belief is not just something that's in their minds or even just something that's in their hearts, as important as that is, that faith should be that way, that they should believe in him in that way, that they know that he is the Messiah, that they believe in their hearts that he's the Messiah. That belief takes action. So it is not just something that they are asked to uh, say yes to. In saying that, yes, they are willing to do his works as well. So it, it is more than just that. More, and of course, Jesus is trying to move them in this way. Move them to recognize him, to see the signs that he's performed, to do these spiritual things. And then that spiritual work, that spiritual belief that they have leads to back to the physical world and the good that they do. Okay, now in the, in the Acts of the Apostles today, we see uh, the case mounting against Stephen. And what we're reminded of is that all of the apostles, all of the followers of Jesus are going to be persecuted in one way or another. And this is just the normal thing. This is what's going to happen. So um, we see them uh, saying wrong things about him saying that, that he's speaking these blasphemous words. They are misrepresenting what he said about Jesus. But Jesus has this, uh, excuse me, Stephen has this face of an angel in this. He is filled with God's spirit. And in a way, he's already being made ready for the martyrdom that he would suffer. He already knows the path that he is on. He is willingly accepting it. He's allowing it all to happen. And in, in uh, this way, he has resigned himself to God's will. And his face just glows like an angel because of that. His willingness to give over to God's will. So today we um, again uh, ask the Lord to fill us spiritually 
the spiritual communion we will have here today, uh, since I'm the only one that's going to be receiving Jesus physically today uh, in his body and blood, um, we ask to take that spiritual communion and put it into good practice to ask the Lord to help us, to strengthen us, and to keep us on a good path doing good works for others. And again, I would say, especially in this coronavirus uh, pandemic, that we would uh, take this time to make the sacrifices that are necessary to minimize the loss of life and to minimize sickness. So let's offer our prayers to the Lord. We offer the Mass today for the happy repose of the soul of Jose Martinez. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the homebound, which would include everyone, I think, at this point. But in particular, we want to pray for uh, Dutch Hallingsey, for Sam Clark, for uh, Betty King. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also want to pray for the happy repose of the soul of Dave Campbell. His graveside, which is private, will be on Wednesday, and uh, we pray uh, that we will be able to have a much bigger celebration of his life soon. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That uh, world leaders be more diligent in their efforts to protect those who are persecuted, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those who attend the sick and those who assist them in their daily life be blessed in their loving care, especially those taking care of people who have contracted the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray uh, for all who have died as a result of the coronavirus. We pray that they may be received into the kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our government that uh, at all levels it may continue to provide the needed assistance to minimize the impact of this virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal God, out of your love for humankind, you sent your Son to feed us with the word of life. Let our expressions of gratitude rise up to you and give you glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Joan of Arc, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.